Jujutsu Kaisen, also known as JJK, may have one of the most controversial endings depending on what happens in the manga. What is up, it is your boy Bugsy, and yes, today I am bringing you a different style of video, not a video essay because I don't have one ready yet. However, the Broly video essay will be on the way. Hopefully by next week, maybe Monday or Tuesday, we will see. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing how Jujutsu Kaisen may have one of the most controversial endings in anime, and it does have the potential of completely ruining JJK. So yes, there will be spoilers. This is your spoiler announcement. This is your spoiler warning. Do not say I did not warn you because again, we have to discuss what's happening in the manga and overall dissect what has happened in Jujutsu Kaisen and how one, I feel like 50% of people don't really like Yuji Itadori as a protagonist, while the other 50% think that Yuji uh, Itadori is one of the best protagonists that we've had in more recent anime. So my issue as a non JJK stan, but also caught up a little bit on JJK and also, you know, I check out the leaks when they drop here and there. The issue that I have with Yuji Itadori and especially in the manga right now is Sukuna has eaten 19 fingers. He's missing one finger, which Gojo conveniently hid. And now is Yuji Itadori's job to go find it and eat it and then face off against a 19 finger Sukuna. Now the issue is so far Sukuna has defeated Gojo. He's defeated every single sorcerer who has pretty much fought him one on one. I believe he defeated Yuta, even though they said Yuta was on fraud watch. However, Yuta showed that he has one of the most powerful, um, I forgot what they call it in JJK. If I remember, I'll put it up on the screen, uh, domain expansions, domain expansions. He's one of the craziest domain expansions and that still was not enough to defeat Sukuna. And now we have to rely on Yuji Itadori, which by himself, without the help of Sukuna, has not been proven to be a very strong character. Now, don't get me wrong. JJK right now, I think, is a great anime. However, the ending is very important. Look at Hunter x Hunter, for example. The Chimera Ant arc was one of the longest arcs in, in anime history. I believe it is the second longest one outside of the Ueno arc in One Piece. And we see how many people were simply just not a fan of Hunter x Hunter because of the last arc, which I believe can be the same fate of JJK. And again, if you know, let me know in the comments down below. How does it make sense for 19 figure Sakuna, who is probably at 90% of his power, maybe 95% of his power, going up against Yuji Itadori, which we have seen in the Shibuya arc, we saw in the first season of JJK, that when he is by himself, he is just not him. He does not have that him factor like Goku, like Luffy, like other characters, Naruto, that they can fight by themselves without the help of somebody else assisting them. Don't get me wrong. When Sukuna pops out, Sakuna pops out when he needs to get something done. And most of, you know, I'm taking my glasses off. And he pops out when he needs to keep, quite frankly, Yuji Itadori alive so that he can maintain the body, so that he can get the 19 fingers or whatever fingers he needed. And then he expelled himself from Yuji's body. Now, if Yuji eats one finger and somehow was able to defeat a 19 finger Sakuna, I just don't think that makes sense. I don't think it's plausible. I don't think that as a anime fan who does have a comprehension level of above like a ninth grader or a 10th grader, it doesn't make sense for that to happen. It doesn't make sense for that to happen because that is almost like Goten defeating UI Goku. It doesn't make sense. And I think that is where the anime may be going. Unless Gojo somehow pops up again after being sliced in half. Or if Yuta somehow gains like a fucking Zenkai boost and takes out Sukuna. It doesn't make sense to me for Yuji Itadori to be the one to defeat Sukuna. Now, I think most people are expecting that to happen for Yuji to be the one to defeat Sukuna. But with what power? Right now, we see that even the most powerful sorcerers do not have the strength to defeat Sukuna, but somehow Itadori will be the one to defeat him. How? I do not know. And that is my question to a lot of the JJK fans. What is going to happen if Itadori Yuji does end up defeating Sukuna, but only because he ate one finger? Right now, the power of friendship, which has been very powerful in most anime protagonists, is not going to work against Sukuna. It is not going to work. 
So how is this going to even add up for a conclusion? How would this be an interesting enough conclusion to where Itadori wins, assuming that Itadori does win? Now, if they decide to let Sakuna win and then we have an age of uh, curses that rule the earth and all that good stuff, that might be kind of cool. Kind of gets vibes back to um, Infinity War when Thanos ended up snapping his fingers and he won at the end of the movie. But again, this is an animated good guy kind of does have to win. Let me know what y'all think, because I'm not sure how this goes over well. And the reason why I bring this up is because JJK, I think, is one of the best animes to have dropped recently. Even though a lot of people don't like JJK, I still think that JJK can be a 9 out of 10 anime if they do the ending correctly. Why is Yuta not the main character? I do not know. Do I think Yuji is a good protagonist? Kind of, not really. I think he's an okay protagonist. But I hope that with whatever they do with Yuji, it does make sense. And that, again, we see a good conclusion to the anime. I think the Shibuya arc is probably one of the best arcs that we've gotten in quite some time. Even though it was not finished animating during the time it did air, once they did complete the animation, I think the Shibuya arc looks 10 times better than it ever was meant to be. And I know people were saying that, you know, when we saw the big three, which were uh, Yuji, uh, Nobara and I believe Mitsumi, I believe that's what his name is. You know, they weren't even a real big three. We saw Nobara got cooked up at the end of the Shibuya arc. Uh, Megumi, that's his name, I think. Um, he kind of was just like, peace the fuck up too. And then we saw Yuji at the door, kind of was just like doing stuff with, uh, I believe his name is Toto, that nigga was schizophrenia. And, you know, they, they ended up seeing, you know, Ghetto and, you know, Gojo was gone and, we saw a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know what's going to happen. Again, I think the Shibuya art ending was pretty solid. But I think right now, JJK has a... It's been a bit... It was a slow start. I think JJK season one was kind of mid. I think the movie was fantastic. I think Jujutsu Kaisen Zero was a fantastic movie. And it kind of did, for me, uh, keep, keep, keep the anime going. And then for season two, obviously season two went crazy. But for season three, which I'm assuming is going to be the last bit of the manga and probably the ending, they have to get it right. If they do not get the JJK ending right, then I think we are going to be in for a heap of trouble. And I really hope that's not the case. I really want JJK to be a fantastic anime. But if they give us a BS ending, I think it is going to be the biggest demise that JJK has ever seen and possibly one of the biggest downfalls in any anime that has released. A lot worse than the Boo Saga, even though I know a lot of people hated the Boo Saga and Dragon Ball. I think it was pretty solid. Um, even the Chimera and Art for Hunter x Hunter. And, you know, whatever anime has had a very bad ending. A very Oh, like Attack on Titan. I don't know, man. Um, let me know in the comments down below. What do y'all think? Uh, do you think that if JJK has a really bad ending, would that completely uh, derail JJK as being a top 10, top 15, even a top 20 anime? Let me know. I'm very curious, but I feel like this video needs to be made and brought attention to because um, I know some people that read the manga, they're not very happy with JJK. Um, apparently, the most recent chapter leaks were pretty solid. I have to double check that and see that, if that changed my opinion. However, I do think that um, JJK needs to have a great ending. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't made a video in a while, so if it doesn't seem that good, I apologize. The video essay will be on the way. And again, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think that JJK is going to have a good ending or do you think it's going to be a bad ending? And if it does have a good ending, does it solidify as a top 10 anime? And or if it has a bad ending, will it potentially become one of the worst anime strictly due to the ending? Or will it still be a good in a One second. Will it still be a good anime? It just had a bad ending, very similar to what happened with Attack on Titan. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, which will probably be a video essay. Um, I am going to get all the Dragon Ball video essay out the way. Then I will probably jump onto Free Ren. I might do the OG Dragon Ball one because I'm almost finished with that anime. And uh, we're going to be cooking up some video essays on the channel. Y'all stay tuned. And uh, Dragon Ball Diamond will definitely have video essays once that completes. Um, hope you guys do enjoy. Have a great Sunday or Saturday, whatever, whatever day you're watching the video. And uh, yeah. Deuces. And remember, don't get mad and think of the booty.